Hey YouTube, my name's Zach and I'm the creator of Cassandra Mar and today I'm going to be doing another web development tutorial. In the last tutorial we did this, which is a simple web page that displays Hello World as the title and Hello World as a link to YouTube. And in this video we're going to be changing the link a little bit. We'll be um, changing its color and we'll be uh, editing the underlining here. We'll be adding a few elements to the web page such as images. We'll also be editing a few elements of the web page such as background color. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is we need to open up the HTML document that we made in the last tutorial. The way we do this is by right clicking it, going to open with, and you can either choose, uh, you can either select choose default program, or if you already have a notepad or the text editor of your choice. Uh, as an option, you can click on that. Once we have this open, we're going to want to change the link first. And the way we do this is within the head tag. Now it doesn't matter if it's above or below the title tag. Just as long as it's within the head tag, we're going to be adding the style tag. And the style tag works a little bit with CSS, and we're going to be learning more about CSS later, but right now we're going to stick to the absolute minimum. So, first, we're gonna, first thing we're going to do is we're going to type in capital A colon link. Within brackets, we're going to change the color to red. We're going to be adding the text decoration attribute. And um, we're not going to have any text decoration. And what this does is it tells the web browser that if there's any links on the web page, to change the color to red and to take away any underlining. Also, we're going to type in A visited. And within these brackets, we're going to make color of a visited link blue. And we're not going to have any text decoration on this one either. Last but not least, we're going to be adding the hover attribute. And what this does is what this does is if a link's been visited like this hello world link, it's going to change its color to blue and it's not going to have any underlining and what this does the a hover changes um, any attributes that you have within the brackets to what you selected if you're hovering your mouse icon over the link color let's make this one green and we're going to have uh, we're going to have an underline of this link. Let's go ahead and save it and refresh this web page. And as you can see, the color has changed. It's now blue. And if I hover my mouse icon over it, it changes to green and it gives the link an underline. Now we're going to change the background color of the body of the web page. And the way we do this is within the style tag, we're going to type in body within brackets. We're going to type in background. We're going to change this one to black. Let's go to file, save, and refresh the web page. And now we have a blue link that turns green with an underlining. If we hover our mouse icon over it, and we have a black background color. Next, let's add, um, let's add a little bit of text. So we're going to go back into the body, within the body tag, and um, we're not going to do this within the center tag. Um, let's type in I, or an I tag. And the I tag just states that uh, any text within it, or anything within um, the I tag, is going to be uh, italicized. So I type in hello. Um, now we already did that. Let's type in this is a web page. Okay, and if I end the i tag, I go to file, save, and I refresh the web page. Nothing changed. Now the reason for this is because the text is black and the background's black. And if you notice, uh, you can see. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, the bad video quality, but the um, the hello this is a web page is right here 
we want to change the color of this. Now we're not going to go back up here to the style tag. Instead what we're going to do is we're going to add something called a div tag. The div tag basically um, is CSS, but um, it's just going to be really, really helpful when structuring your web page. It's what's going to give a lot of structure to the web page. But if I save this, and I refresh the web page, nothing happened again. We still have, um, this is a web page, and it's black. So, we fix this by typing in style here, equals, we're going to add quotation marks. And let's add the color, let's make the color red. And we're going to add a semicolon. Yeah, the semicolon as of right now is kind of optional. So if I refresh this, now it changed to this is a web page, and you can see it, it's red now. So what if we wanted to change the position of this? What if we wanted to make this not exactly in the center of the web page, but uh, say down here somewhere? The way we do this is we type in position absolute and there's absolute and um, there is relative position and we'll learn about that later anyway um, we're gonna change top we're gonna type in top and let's add let's make it 300 pixels and for the left we're gonna make it 500 pixels and basically what this does is from the top it's going to move down 300 pixels and from the left it's going to move uh, to the right 500 pixels so if you refresh this as you can see it moved down here instead of back up here